Muhammad apparently flunked anatomy. He believed that an Islamic believer had one intestine, while a non-Muslim, like myself and others, have seven intestines. Weird, right? I know. But that's the almighty prophet's uh, words. He stated so, apparently. As stated in the hadith, a believer eats in one intestine, whereas a non-believer eats in seven intestines. The hadith, Muslim volume 3. And again here. Ibn Umar reported Allah's messenger Muhammad saying that a non-Muslim eats in seven intestines while a Muslim eats in one. It is not shocking at all that Muhammad believed in this due to the time in which he lived in, uh, which in that time they weren't quite as knowledgeable as the human anatomy that we are of today. But for believers of this day and age to claim that Muhammad, the last prophet of Allah, is holy and incredibly knowledgeable of the universe and everything because of his link to God, to Allah, it's just downright rude uh, to be claiming this, knowing that this, as well as many of the things stated by Muhammad and the Quran, are incorrect scientifically and logically, of course, and yet they still believe it. They believe in him, they believe in him, and they believe in the holy book, the Quran even though many things are incorrect in it scientifically. I guess it just shows denial in its fullest of the Muslim people. Although, maybe his followers give him some sort of tenure due to his lack of knowledge, you know, because of the time period in which he lived in, where he was raised at, where he grew up at. But again, he is supposedly the last prophet of the Almighty Allah. He is supposedly the main messenger of him, the last messenger, like I said, of course, several times. He is supposed to be incredibly knowledgeable because of Allah's beaming of him the knowledge. You know, Allah being all-powerful and all-knowing and everything could have just mentioned to him that, no, Muhammad, non-Muslims don't have seven intestines and Muslims have one. We have two. But no, he didn't. Which means that this is untrue. If this is untrue, that means that either Allah is non-existent or he is just completely incompetent at his work.